Hi, I'm Dana, Purist Energy. Uh, this is the SPS2AC. This is a very short segment. I'm really just going to talk about sensor placement um, and uh, sensor placement and oh yeah, and the SPS2AC actual mounting. The uh, and I'll start with that. The uh, the box comes with a couple of tabs: one on the top, one on the bottom, two screw holes on either side. It can either be well, it can really be mounted just about anywhere, quite honestly. But it can be screwed right to the tank. Just make sure that you don't uh, use screws that are too long. I mean, you know, like Marathon, for example. Um, it's a couple of inches of uh, foam insulation. If you use a screw that's only a half inch long, you won't puncture that. No, nope, not even close. But it'll definitely hold into those walls. You can mount it directly to the tank. If you uh, have a, a metal tank, make sure you're using something like that is going to grab into it and hold it sufficiently. The box itself only weighs about 20 pounds, so it's not a huge burden. There's not a whole lot of vibration with the pumps, but you definitely want to make sure that it's secure. The plumbing is going to be attached. That's going to support it as well. It could be mounted directly to the tank. Or, if it makes the installation cleaner, mount it to a wall nearby plywood, any any other means. It's really not that heavy or that difficult to install. And one of the one of the changes that we've made in the course of the past couple of years is with the enclosure uh, and the cover. <clears throat> and the current iteration is that uh, it's got uh, four bolts and you can see them. One, two, three, four bolts and then uh, there's actually two on the valves here. And um, if you need to take the cover off to check the pumps, their potentiometers, just check it out. Um, you take off those four pieces and then uh, the two off of the handles. And I take those off and I'm kind of like careful to make sure I get the positioning of them straight so that they go on the exact same way that they came off. And then the whole box flips out. And I, I should probably get the screwdriver out and, you know, pull it off and everything. But I'll, I'll save that for some other time or you, or you can check it out yourself. It's really pretty cool inside of the box. and. Um, designed so that you can open it up, service any components that would ever have any problem, and uh, put it all back together and be just fine. No issues. Um, in terms of the uh, mounting of the sensors, there are three sensors. The red one with the red wire that's super high temperature, that goes up to the collector. It's uh, bullet shaped. It, it can slide directly into the port that it, uh, most evacuated tube collectors have, or it can be just strapped to the outside of the, uh, the upper tubing on a flat plate collector like a Heliodyne. Um, the other two sensors, you can put them pretty much anywhere that you're going to get a good reading for the top and the bottom of the tank. Myself, I figure that the best reading for that, and what is really easiest, is to pop off the ports for the top and lower element of an ele standard electric tank. And wedge it behind where the elements would read their temperature for the tank in order to turn on and off as it were. Um, tape it in there with, with, uh, with uh, aluminum tape or you know if you have a different kind of tank that has a good port at the top that you can stuff it onto and tape it down to, uh, that works as well. The objective is really to get as close as a temperature as you can for the top and bottom of the tank. Don't attach it to piping going in or out of the tank on the far outside where you're thinking, well, it's going to be pretty close, but it isn't. Because if you if you attach it to the bottom of the tank, for example, like on the tubing on the leads outside of it, you're going to be reading that temperature when it's flowing. You're not going to be reading the temperature of the tank, and that'll give sort of misreadings over the course of the entire event. So, Try and place the sensors where they're going to be most accurate to the tank in different positions on the tank. It doesn't have to be the lowest point. It doesn't have to be the highest point. The two element points are, are really the easiest that I've found.